You think there's anything that goes on around here that I don't know about? If somebody farts in the Xerox room, I've heard about it. Listen, nothing gets by me, nothing. What the hell's in your ear? Earring. Well, get rid of it, for God's sake. I can't. Larry likes it. He says he wants me to keep it. Artie, I, I, I think it's infected. I can hear something inside my head. I guarantee you there's nothing in there, Hank. Here, drink this. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, no, I got a show tonight, and I'm obviously going to be under a massive program of antibiotics. Drink it. I'll knock you down on the floor, I'll put my foot on your neck, and I'll piss in that good ear. Nice to have you. Hey. Kicking ass in the morning is better than cappuccino. Yeah, get a load of that. God, that little rat bastard. I thought you had a talk with him. I did. Hell of a lot of good it did. If he bangs her any harder, the airbags are going to inflate. Hey, now. Hey, you little shit! Enjoy yourself, because you're going to be fired! Look, it didn't even phase him. If I may, Jeannie, I, I don't really know you that well, but I've known Larry a long time. Larry's a good man, but he is a performer, and you should try to think of a performer as a small, helpless child. No, Artie, I... You know, I have sex with him. I'm so sorry. Hey. Listen. What the... Oh, what the... Yeah. What is that? I don't know, but as soon as I finish this salty dog, I'm gonna rip that camera from his hands and tear him a new way home. All right, having a good time, no. huh? All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, uh, uh, Jeannie, she's, uh, she's still she's, changing. She is still, she is still changing. Listen, I don't understand women. I like agree. Here, yeah. have a salty dog. No, I... Drink it, you pussy. Jeannie, sweetheart. And, Jeannie, the last thing this house needs is tough love. Jeannie, open this door. Jeannie. Hey. <laughs> Five marriages. And now I'm going downstairs and I'm going to take care of that sack of human shit with a camera. That's why I refuse to watch the local news. Two kittens fell in a well. Who gives a shit? Um, Arthur, uh, your son Eddie called. There's a problem. What now? Uh, he's been arrested for uh, possession. Call my lawyer. I hope bail money becomes tax deductible. It should with that hippie in the White House. Excuse me? Arthur, it's one of your sons. Eddie? Steve. Oh, shit. Sheriff Station? No, emergency room. Oh, yeah. It's line three. No, son, this detox will be good for you. What's that? We're... Well, where the hell do you think you are? You're in Minnesota. Great alert, Artie. Why? Well, Steve, I love you, son. That's why. Larry's talking to Francine. Oh, Jesus! God, I'll call you back. Who let the crazy bitch in here? Yeah, She's no gonna idea. fuck him up for weeks. Well, I still say you should go with the 12-foot electrical fence. I think that's a little gaudy. Gaudy hell, fry the motherfuckers. Fucking little snot. He's too busy playing with his balls to shake my hand. You're always supposed to shake a man's hand. Uh, Artie, a pleasure. Really excited, Larry. I'll call you when I have some news. Jesus, I learned how to shake a man's hand before I learned how to wipe my own ass. Got a different style, that's all, Artie. Uh, that kind of style got men fragged in the core. Uh, as I remember, we've set up a lovely cheese tray in the green room. Let's go down and sample it. I said, let's all go down and have some fucking cheese. You want me to kick his parasitic ass into the street? What is your problem? Sorry. Well, that's right. That's right, I forgot. You used to be a bouncer. That's the way I started in showbiz. Sometimes I revert, okay? I won't tolerate alcohol in my office. Yeah, but you have alcohol in your office. That's for weekends. Well, I'll talk to Stan. I gotta take a piss. I, I gotta go alone. I gotta clear my head, all right? Oh, I'll just hang here by the door like some crapper gargoyle. No, toast, no, no. Toast, 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 toast. Come on. No, I'm saving it, Hank. Uh, saving all it. All right, I've got an old Irish toast. I mean, it's a little bit off color, but if you like limericks about fucking. If you don't shut the fuck up, I will kick you in the nuts so hard, your dentist will have to work around them at your next cleaning. Oh, God. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm married, Liz. Oh, how is the little woman? Huh? You're wise. Elaine's in Kenya on a safari. Can you believe that? What do you think of a woman who'd leave her home for three months to photograph zebras humping? I think that Daddy's lonesome, too. 
Mm. You were leaning on Larry's suit. Oh, do I look like I give a shit? Now you just jump on back here, little big man. Well, ever since you've gone on slim fast, I'm powerless. Oh, God. Mm. 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 If you go to New York, I won't go. Where'd you hear I'm going to New York? Well, I take my lunch up in the bleachers sometimes. You didn't know that, oh, did you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Good to have it confirmed, but I can't go to New York. Well, why not? Please don't ask me to explain. Well, I'm not asking you to explain. I just want to know why you can't go to New York. I can't explain. Well, don't explain. Just tell me. What I'm about to say cannot be repeated to anyone. Turn around, Sid. There's certain people. If they found out you knew this, it would not be safe for you or me. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding, aren't you? I was a young man in a big city. I need some fast bucks. I did some work for some people. You take off your people. <laughs> you ever see Scorsese film? No, yeah. Good for us. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me this has something to do with a 50-pound bag of lime, for God's sake. I don't remember that, but okay. I can't go to New York. Well, what if we shoot at New Jersey? Even worse, they live there. Who? I can't, Who lives there? Say. I haven't even met anyone I've liked in the last six months. Why do you think I'm so excited about Mimi Rogers? Hey, I get some on a nightly basis. I'm still excited about Mimi Rogers. You get some what on a nightly basis? Some of this, some of that, you don't want to know. Do you? No. Your fly's open. Thank you. Don't mention it. Part of my job. Looking at my crotch. I consider it a perk. Then we bring out Carl Sagan. Well, unless Mr. Sagan comes out and shits a string of pearls, we have no show. You'll have to excuse Hank. His heart's in the right place, but he keeps his brain in a box at home. (laughs) Hey, buddy. Fuck off. Don't let her see you like this. Oh, she doesn't even watch the show anymore. Fucking bitch. The divorce is very painful. The next few weeks won't be very pretty. How do you know? <laughs> How do I know? Experience. Let me tell you something. After my first wife gave me the gate, I went on a binge of sex, drugs, and 108 proof ever clear. It lasted for three years. After my fourth divorce, I... I was able to squeeze the same amount of debauchery into a long weekend. But I have a scar from that one. Yes, Hank. Yes, Hank. Yes, Hank. Of course, Hank. Yes, I understand. Well, listen, uh, just keep in touch with us so we know you're okay. You bet, (laughs) Bubla. Bye-bye. Is he okay? Darleen, he's hit bottom and broke through to another bottom I know nothing about. I can't go on. I want off. I want to end this. Well, I thought I'd be hearing that. Oh, Jesus Christ, is that thing loaded? Why, you bet it's loaded. This is a Beretta 9mm Centurion. You just pick that baby up, it'll do the job for you. It'll be painless, quick. Just put it in your head, pull the trigger. That's all you have to do. Listen, I'm going to give housekeeping 20 bucks. I mean, you won't feel a fucking thing, but they're the ones that are going to have to suffer. They're going to have to clean up this mess. So just go on, hurry up. Pick it up. Put your hand on it. Come on. Don't drag this thing out. (laughs) Oh, sweetheart. (laughs) Hey, you don't want to kill yourself. If you did, you... Would have done it before now. So everything's fine now. Everybody's oh, absolutely. Happy. Right really on track. Yeah. Happy. They don't. <laughs> no one cares about me or my problems. My fucking life is just a big piece of shit. Yeah. Who am I? What the hell have I done with my life? I swear to God, no one cares because I'm the boss. The boss has no problems. Sometimes I swear to God, I should. I should. I. I feel like I should just end it all. To... You can always blow your head off. Safety's off. Ready to go. The divorce gun? God, it just brings back memories. <laughs> How close did Hank come to shooting himself? Oh, that fucking baby. He started crying the second I pulled it out. <laughs> and if you can't live with that sunny boy, tough titty. You didn't just say tough titty, did you? Tough titty. You know, talentless, fat fuck. Dr. Reisman, no one has a deeper respect for psychiatry than I do. And I know that when we get to Larry, we're both on the same side. But 
I think there's certain guidelines we should observe here. Oh, so. before you go any further, let me tell you that I can't discuss Larry's case. Oh, what horseshit. You voodoo doctors are all the same. Soon you'll have Larry recovering a false memory of an uncle who tried to touch his pecker. Okay, here's what you do. Go to Rotterdam, then you go to Amsterdam, then you go down the road to my city. That's right. It's a little place called I Don't Give a Damn. Bye now. Here you go. Uh, what this is? It, it's Scotch whiskey, eh? Glenn Livet, single malt. When you die, you go to heaven, you say hello to God, and when God says hello to you, this is what you'll smell on his breath. Gold. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're fired. How are your flakes? Flakes are good. I trust they're still crispy in the milk. Well, actually, they're kind of soggy. I'll kick your ass. Excuse me? That tape you copied is crawling around town like the fucking Ebola virus. I only made one copy. And then sent it into the world like the fucking Ebola virus. I just sent it to a friend. So what are you doing to resolve the situation, sonny boy? Because this little stunt of yours may well cost that poor man his livelihood. If Hank goes down, you go down, you'll be gone, Phil. God, listen, I'm sorry. I don't that shit! Pick up the phone and get the names and numbers of everyone who's part of this underground railroad of perverts. Professor, she's lying. Oh, now, Ginger, you have been naughty with Mary Ann. Going to have to punish you. We're going to... Uh, is it just me or is Hank really hung? Bamboo suits and uh, don't worry. Well, the camera adds 10 pounds. Well, this is crazy. If I, do, if I tell you, you're just going to laugh. Ha, I like to laugh. You're going to laugh. Hey, go ahead, shoot. Okay, it's about Paula. Our Paula. Yeah, Paula and me. Um, about ten years ago when I was touring colleges, I met Paula at the college where she was going, and we hit it off and started hanging out together. And I wondered if she said anything about me because we kind of had a thing. Oh, you had a fight? No. Oh, I'm sorry. When I have a thing, it's always a fight. No, it was sort of, well, this is where you're going to laugh. I guess you'd call it a lesbian thing. <laughs> I thought you'd laugh more. I did, too. You're uncomfortable. Hey, I've always loved women with a touch of Sappho. We have Katie Lang on the show all the time, although the last time Hank kept calling her sir, that asshole. <laughs> Just because you've done it once doesn't make you a dyke. You're going to sit down, I'm going to knock you down. God damn you, get out of there. Uh, there's Go. a woman singing. I... There's, don't touch me. I want to regain my faith. I, I want to rejoin my people. I mean, I've just wasted so many years, and the rabbi is coming here this afternoon to talk to me. The rabbi's coming here? <laughs> Isn't that great? Hank, I'm happy for you. You know, I've worked for your people a long time. They run this town. They run it a hell of a lot better than the agents. Wow, thank you. That's so very kind. Why don't you do us all a big favor? Just keep it to yourself. Why? Because this is television. We're just trying to entertain people, and morality's just going to get in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you're overreacting. Okay. Well, let's put it this way. You got people in an office discussing religion. It separates them. Now, you take our little group. Phil is a Buddhist. Phil, I didn't know that. That's exactly my point. Beverly is a Christian. Paul is an atheist, but we all join hands to put this show together every night, and I don't want you to fuck that up. What religion is Larry? Larry's a talk show host. Shalom, baby. Look, Hank, I know how excited you are about this whole religion thing. Hell, when I was 12, I got baptized, and I didn't shut up about it until a year later when I got laid. Sure, what? I mean, uh, well, like I said, it was Ava Gabor. It yeah. was her first orgasm, and she just couldn't take me enough. We were hurtling along across Mall Holland, about 80 miles an hour. Zsa Zsa was at the wheel. <laughs> oh, mama. And I was, as I you might it. say, I was working under the hood. I get it. I get it. You know, Hardy, <clears throat> if I pull this off, I'm telling you, the network better let me do the show wherever the fuck we want. Well, Fiji, Hawaii. I mean, it'd be so... I'd be happy they yeah. would let us do the fucking show from between Anna and Nicole Smith's titties. <laughs> oh, man. I, she's a lesbian, I can tell, right? I've had sex with a lesbian. So you had sex with a lesbian. You gotta have sex with two lesbians, that's the whole point. 
Marty. Marty. Why is Kevin Nealon hanging around? Because he's Larry's friend. You know what I mean. No, I'm afraid I don't, Hank. His career is over. He says so. So one day he gets the, the brainy idea to start hanging out here with Larry, and the next thing you know, I am out of my ass. I am not a stupid man, Artie. I don't agree with a single thing you've just said, Hank. But you made Army Orchards column. I did? Just for variety, eh? Larry Sanders' sidekick, Hank Kingsley, was seen getting a few kicks of his own last night. Mm -hmm. Kingsley was painting the town red at several well-known gay bars, including uh, Rage, Spike, and Mother Low. No, no, that's a lie. We, we never went to Mother Low. Sidekick by day, gay caballero by night. Oh, for the love of fuck. Better keep that away from your crotch or you end up on the dickless wonder list. And what in the world can that thing do for you? It's a guy's thing, baby. Don't sweat it. Hank, a Rudy. Hey, man. Boy, how did you survive? <laughs> this looks like Hunter Thompson's pad in the 60s. Oh, man. Everything's just soaking wet. Jesus, only you could make these goddamn sprinklers go off on some of the finest cigars in the world. You realize what a tragedy that is? Well, it was an accident, Artie. It's just, uh, well, you know that the Cohiba Esplendido is a, has a powerful kick. No shit. And, uh, I was enjoying my third one. Your third? Yeah. And, uh, and I, I think between the smoke and uh, my recent uh, blood loss, the room just started to, to swim. And I, uh, next thing I know, I'm staring up, up at the ceiling and the sofa is on fire. You should be ashamed of yourself. These fucking cigars are absolutely ruined. Have you ever had a woman, you know, any woman, that had such a strange power over you that... Uh, she scrambled your brains, make you so hot that all you can do is think with your dick. You're going to have to be more specific. I have a woman like that. Yeah. Her name is Angie Dickinson. You used to date her, right? Yes and no. What does that mean? Well, we had a lot of hot sex, but we never left the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I'm around Angie, I just can't help myself. She's like a siren calling for me to smash my nuts upon the rocks. I don't know anyone who has an American car anymore. What do you mean, I drive an American car? It's a hell of a lot better than these rice burners and strudel wagons the rest of these assholes in Hollywood drive. He's going to write about the incident. What incident? Oh, come on, you know, you know, you, you know, don't make me say it. You mean everyone's favorite, the sex tapes? No. The time you slipped and chipped your tooth on the urinal? Oh, my God, I forgot all about that. No, I, I, was, I was thinking about the time I, uh, I masturbated before the show and you caught me. I forgot about that one. Congratulations on your promotion, Paula. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You don't mind if I stand here with you, do you? Where else would the new producer stand? Really looking forward to working with you. I remember when I made my move. I was just about your age. I was working for the great one, Jackie Gleason. And uh, I got an offer from Red Skelton, so I went out to the golf course. I found Jackie, and I said, make me a producer, or I'm out of here. So he put me under the tutelage of the great Bob Sterling. Wow. Did you learn a lot? Oh, yes. And in six months, I replaced him. When did you uh, get a satellite dish? I had about a month. 119 channels. Really? I'm just watching some Australian uh, rules football. You want to stay? I also got five porno channels. I'll have a beer. Yeah. Come on. I'll show you. Heckle me. Go ahead. Listen, I'm very busy and I got a sore throat. Come oh, on, gosh. heckle me. Come on, don't worry, hit me hard. Get off the stage, you fucking moron! I've taken shits more interesting than you are! You're not but Larry Sanders' personal fuck bitch! So shut your fucking fat face and get your goddamn bloated ass off the stage, motherfucker! <sighs> oh, Jesus, Hardy. Good comeback. How are the contract negotiations going? Great, really great. Look, the ball's in their court. In other words, you haven't heard from them. Hey, Artie, I didn't know you were there. I'm his interpreter. I speak fluent bullshit. I can't believe you actually think your agent is your friend. He can be a nice guy. He's a prick. What makes you say that? You said it first, remember? You said you want a prick working for you so you wouldn't have to be one. 
That's the trouble with Hollywood, Larry. Everyone's got two pricks and three assholes. It's a genitalia horn of plenty. Hey, buddy boy. Can I take a moment of your time? Sure. <clears throat> How's your new car? It's good. It's good. It came over from Italy. Hey, watch the fucking soup. Larry trusted you, you fucking... Goddamn low life. Hey, I love Larry, okay? I was at his mother's funeral, yeah, you remember? I remember you tooting up behind a tree using your cell phone. You're a dinosaur, Artie. Thank you. I'm just exercising my right to be the best I can be. That's what America's all about, okay? That's what makes it a great company. Country. What did I say? Arthur, we're, we're a little worried here. About what? Well, is John aware that this is an 11.30 show? I mean, he just told us that he booked the Wu-Tang Clan. Yes, Staten Island, streetwise, troubadours. Okay, hit it. What about them? Well, we think they might be a little too urban. Urban? Well, I can call my good friend Lenny Kravitz. He's only half urban. <laughs> did they say motherfucker? I believe they did. Spot the best pussy. And pussy? That too. No singers are just a pair of lungs with a dick. God damn you. Didn't I tell you to shut the fuck up? Didn't I? You know who runs this town? The Jews. No. The gay Jews. He's such a goddamn idiot, but I sure do love him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to be around. To see how he does it when he breaks your heart to bits. Let's see if the puzzle fits so fine. And that's when I'll discover that revenge is sweet. As I sit there upon from a front row seat. It breaks your heart like you broke mine And that's when I'll discover that revenge is sweet As I sit there upon from a front row seat When somebody breaks your heart like you broke mine Like you, like you broke my. Mm -hmm. Like you broke my.